All right. I am here with Cedrique Dumbe, new PFL welterweight, joining the promotion for the second fight of the season. Cedrique, it's been quite a roller coaster for you the past 10, 12 months. I was in Paris last September, late August. You were announced as having been fighting for the UFC Paris card against Darian Weeks. The fight didn't happen. Reportedly, the commission said you didn't have enough experience in MMA, which is crazy when you look at your kickboxing career. But, you know, can you just shed some light on what this journey has been like? Uh, it's been very tough for me, uh, psychologically, because uh, I was I was there in the UFC Paris in the audience, and I was I was very sad, you know, <laughs> watching those French uh, fighter performing in front of my eyes, and uh, like I was very frust frust uh, frustrated, you know, because I, I really uh, wanted to fight, I wanted to perform uh, in front of the the French audience. Uh, in front of my people but it is what it is uh, that French rule is very weird you know as you say the um, as you say the re regarding uh, my uh, kickboxing experience my uh, my fight experience you know uh, that's very uh, insane but you know uh, it is what it is uh, that rule is uh, to protect fighter and um, they are, the commission is still smart, you know. They are changing, changing the rule because of uh, my um, my case. They are changing that, and um, now it's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. But for now, the rule still. So let's guess. Tomorrow I fight in PFL Paris. I can't fight a guy who uh, like five fight uh, more than me, you know. Well, I hope the rule does get changed and something good comes of it. Now, did the UFC, like, were you surprised the UFC didn't offer you something else, another fight, another location? The UFC? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I think after that fight fell through, we expected, okay, maybe he fights the next time they're in London, something like that. Um. When uh, after that um, journey, uh, we 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 went back to negotiation with UFC, and then uh, one one FC came, and then Bellator, and then uh, PFL came on the table, and I was like, uh, PFL offered me uh, like way better contract. I was like, you know, I I, I took time to think about it, and uh, my team and me uh, figure out that um, PFL is the best choice. Well, I think I heard in a previous interview, you said something like PFL's offer was 10 times that of the UFC. Is that roughly accurate? That's that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. actually, I talked I talked too fast because when I talk with my manager, it's not it's 10 times more than the, like one um, a basic a basic uh, fee when uh, a fighter uh, signs with the UFC, a regular fighter, his basic fee is 10 plus 10. So um, his basic his basic uh, 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 payment, you know, amount is ten. So it's ten times, you know. But for for my what they offered me is not ten times. Actually, it's five times better than the, uh, wow. the UFC contract. Still a lot better. Glad to see you getting paid. Glad to see you in the PFL. Now you're gonna get your start in June. Um, I'm curious how you look at this fight because you didn't get the fight in the first fight of the season. So if you want to advance in the playoffs, you need a finish. So when you go into this, are you thinking I need a finish or do you think, you know what, I'm going to go in, I'm going to fight, I'm going to do my best. If I make the playoffs, great. If not, you know, I get a full, full season next season. How do you look at this? You know, it's very weird because as a fighter, I have to, I don't have to go uh, for the knockout because you know when you look at you know, when you look after the knockout, uh, sometimes the the knockout doesn't come. So I have to swim between looking for the knockout and doing my best, doing my job. You know, because when I do my job like very well, the knockout comes. You know, just uh, easy. So I have to think about it. Of course, I I go for the knockout. I want I want knock him out at the first round to get that's those six points but 
I have to also stay focused, uh, you know, spe especially in the locker room and uh, conditioning myself to uh, to don't to don't rush myself, you know, in the in the cage, you know, to to don't rush, to not rush, to stay calm and uh, just do the job, my combination, and the the knockout gonna come. So it's very difficult, you know, because uh, you have to you have to knock the guy out, but you don't have to rush yourself to go for the knockout. That's very that's a very uh, strange uh, feeling. Absolutely. Now, let's talk about the matchup. And Jera, what are your thoughts on him as an opponent and what he brings to the table? Jera is uh, is my is the big a big test for me. You know, everybody in France, uh, especially, is waiting for me. You know, that's a big challenge for me because that's the first uh, the first test in MMA for me. You know, I've proved everything in kickboxing, but now MMA is a different. It's totally different um, sport. Uh, it's way different. So Jara is very is a very good opponent. He's the best I haven't faced since uh, since the last one. With all due respect uh, to my last opponent, but Jara is better than them, way better than them. A lot of experience, and um, he's hungry because uh, he just lost two times. Uh, his last his last fight was two losses so now he's hungry he's ready to compete so um, for me is a is a big test but I, I i like those challenge you know in kickboxing in glory i had the, this this kind of challenge like nicholas can uh, mertel grunart um uh, johan kongolo that was big opponent for me big challenge for me when i was nobody and then i proved so now is a is a little bit the same you know i'm training for that I like uh, those kind of challenge. I'm a man of challenge, you know. Uh, I'm a man of impossible, you know. Because every, once people say you cannot do it, it's impossible. I love to prove that I can do it. So yes, I'm I'm aware that he's a big challenge. He's a big fighter. He he has he has, he has uh, way more experience than me. I'm aware of that. But I will beat him because I'm the best. <laughs> I love that line. I'm a man of impossible, a man of impossible mm -hmm. things. Uh, it's almost a great nickname. Mm -hmm. Since you've started your transition to MMA, I mean, you were glory champion. You hit the highest highs in kickboxing. But since coming over to MMA, what has been the most difficult part of the transition for you? The most difficult part of the transition were um, the, um, the fact that in MMA, you are very busy in training. You know, you have to train wrestling, you have to train uh, BGG, grappling, uh, kickboxing, Muay Thai. You are very, very busy in a training camp. That 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 was the f the most difficult for me because my body, like, my, my body needed way, like, more time to adapt, you know, to adapt uh, himself. And so that was very difficult for me, you know. A lot of, a lot of pain in my body because uh, because of those different sports. Uh, at the same time, I had to think about how to manage that, how to 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 schedule the the training camp because before that was only strength and conditioning and kickboxing and sparring. That's it. Now is you know you have a lot of things to uh, to schedule. No, that was the 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 the, the, the most difficult part in uh, my transition. Of course, also the wrestling. You know, I cannot say. Uh, I cannot say uh, that uh, the wrestling were easy. That was very difficult for me. The BGG grappling, maybe at the beginning, and then I just started to love it. But the wrestling, you know, when I when I say the wrestling, I'm talking about the the condition, you know, the well, the feeling of tired when in kickboxing, not the same as uh, wrestling, you know. Well, uh, kickboxing is a sport of per percussion, you know, it's a percussion sport. And wrestling is like more prehension, you know. So that was very, very difficult for me. Now I'm starting to love it. I like even wrestling more than uh, kickboxing because uh, every training I'm, I'm learning, you know. You know. So um, that was the most difficult for me. I love to hear you say that you're starting to love it. Making the switch, what was what was the the reasoning? Why did you make the transition? Was it looking for new challenges? 
because of uh, a man of impossible. You know, people say that you know I cannot do it. Uh, it's too difficult. It's, it's not. Uh, it's not what I what I think. It's not. Uh, it's not kickboxing. I will not do the same. Also, I cannot lie. When I saw uh, Conor McGregor, you know, growing, you know, uh, putting the the MMA in that uh, at that level, I was like, I can do it too. I'm better than him. You know, uh, I knew that I'm better. I was better than him, and I knew that I I could do uh, like better things than he does. Uh, so that's why I say, okay, I'm boring. You know, like kickboxing is boring for me now. Uh, I've won everything. Uh, in kickboxing, it's always the same, same opponent. You know, no challenge anymore. So I started. I I wanted to change, to to step up. You know, and then um, I started to to like watching MMA, watching a uh, BGG grappling, wrestling, and then I started to train, and then I was like, okay, that's the new challenge. You know, I will prove that I will do it. I will prove that I'm the best also in MMA. I'm only the best fighter, not only the best kickboxing on the planet, also the best fighter. And then I just, you know, it's all about proof. It's all about to prove people that uh, I'm the best to back it up. Love it. Love it. Uh, you know, your signing got a lot of attention from fans. I think people were very excited when they announced you. They also announced Jake Paul earlier this year and Francis Ngannou just the other day. I mean, when you see all these these signings and the attention that PFL is getting, what does that say to you about the promotion's future? For me, it's, you know, it's just comforting me that I made the best choice, you know, because uh, when you are like a smart guy, you just want to put your money, bet on the, on the future, on what is better, you know, the better deal. And I think PFL is the better deal, is the future. So as we can see, uh, Jake Paul, uh, Francis and Gano, and I think more will follow, will follow up uh, in a, in a few months, in a few years. So um, for me, it's very exciting, you know, especially with PFL Africa, as I'm an African from Cameroon. So it's very exciting for me, and I can wait, I can wait to uh, to give to the people uh, uh, what they want to to see, you know, great fight. Uh, great spectacle so um, it's gonna be very fun and I, I'm glad to be part of uh, that uh, PFL family well it definitely is an exciting time for the PFL I'm looking forward to your debut Cedrique thanks very much for the time today I'll ask you one more before Thank I you let much. you go this fight against Jera next month your PFL debut how do you see this finishing I mean I see it finishing at the first round KO. I have to do it. I will do my best to do it. And, you know, I I don't even do it uh, on purpose. You know, when I touch, it's just fall, you know. So I think he will fall at the first round. All right. Love it. Looking forward to it. Thanks again for the time today. Best Thank of you. luck in the fight. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.